Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today, we're gonna do our daily technical analysis of oil and natural gas. Man, it's ripping it. It's ripping it, boys. It's ripping it, girls. Crude oil's higher, natural gas is higher. It's like, it's like we never knew this was gonna go higher, right? We just, this is all, it's all the war, right? It's all the war. I mean, we can throw some some oil out there from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, you know, try to hold this down, shift and account, you know, shift the accounting metrics from one tr petroleum reserve to another inventory. It'll be all fine, no worry, right? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, we're going higher here, boys. That's what we're doing. We're going higher. Uh, it's looking quite, quite good. Uh, again, we're, all of them, all of the companies are sitting on top of patterns. What does that mean? It means that we are going to jump from them. We're going to jump up higher. And again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give. If you guys want to know what I'm buying, what I'm doing, I'm going to give you the exact companies. I'm going to do a video. Um, you can see it on my website. It's down below. If you're a Platinum member, you can see exactly what I'm buying, what I'm doing. Why is that important? Because there's multiple things you have to get right here. One, you have to make sure that you got the right sectors. Two, you got to make sure you got the right vehicles that you're playing with it. Three, I know fractal analysis. I know math. Why is that important? Because I can see it in the charts. I can tell you which ones will probably do some crazy stuff, the big moves. And if that's what you're interested in, subscribe to the channel, you or subscribe to the website, Platinum Membership, and you can see the videos that I'm gonna, gonna release here. So let's let's dive in, I'll give you my financial opinion. Here we go, this is cra uh, crude oil. Uh, we're breaking to the upside of this little pattern here, boys. Uh, it's looking fantastic. And yeah, this could come back down and do a retest and do all that stuff, but what's important is that we are breaking the pattern and we're finishing strong. We need higher prices. It, we know what's coming. We know the inventories are, are getting eaten up. Uh, I do my information, my, my updates on all this stuff so you guys see it all. And we're, we're eating through that stuff. So uh, this looks fantastic for a move on up. That's what I think. And natural gas, I mean, obviously this thing's, this thing's rolling, guys. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this thing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is just ridiculous, guys. I mean, <laughs> look at this thing. It's at seven bucks already. And and <laughs> like I said, we break these patterns. We we do a little bit of a retest sideways movement. Now we're we're launching. We're in launch mode. And will this continue higher? You know what? I, I don't like making these predictions. I just hope that if you're on this channel that you've positioned for this move, because this is the time you sit and you wait. This is where the money's made. And here's XOP. XOP is an ETF. This is one that I loaded up on. It's in my 401k. I bought it all in this little area down there. And now we're starting to move higher. And this is going to continue higher. Yeah, we're going to get some pullbacks. Uh, it, it's it's nothing. Here, I'll, let me put it log so you can see. This is on a logarithmic. This thing looks fantastic, guys. And, and if oil and natural gas are going to go higher, you know, you get these little pause points like this. And then it breaks to the upside. We're breaking to the upside. We'll probably see another move higher again. SM Energy, this is my big boy company. It's still sitting on top of its pattern. You can still buy it while it's just broken out. But guess what? Uh, we, we've got a long way to run on this, guys. We have a long way to run. And if you look at this pattern, we could run all the way to the tip there at $140 a share. Um, it's, it's looking quite, quite good. Uh, CDEV, this is another one I really like. They've got 30% of their um, productions hedged. Let me let me do a little... No, that's right. That's right. We did a little bit of a breakout, came on back, and then we're launching higher. Uh, this is about to break to the upside. If we get natural gas continuing to do what it's doing and, and oil starts to fall, a lot of these are very... They follow whatever oil does. Um, I think we'll see a, a move on higher. Uh, Crew Energy, another one that's... Looked like it tried selling off, gave, and then and then got bought back up. It's sitting on top of its pattern as well, and it's it's starting to move on higher. Get a little bit of resistance, sticky points in a couple areas through here, uh, but yeah, it's looking fantastic. CPE is about to break through this heavy resistance area. Once you break through that heavy resistance area, um, then you're gonna see how what this thing can do. And the cheetah is about to be released to the wild here at any second. Uh, good old Cal Callan. Count Petroleum, it's ready to roll. It's ready to roll. Athabasca Oil, this thing's looking fantastic here. I like it a lot. Um, give me some. 
Recaf moving sideways, getting a little bit of a buying pressure today. This also looks very good to move higher. CPG, Crescent Point. Again, that's, this guy's resting on top of its pattern. That's what cheetahs do before they run. They rest. Looking fantastic. Northern Oil and Gas running higher. Looking good. Uh, GTE, inside of its pattern, this will eventually break and move higher with the price of oil. Uh, Tellurian, it's also setting up a pattern, continuation pattern. We're still in it. Uh, Pedevco, sitting down low, moving sideways. Uh, Oasis, getting a little bit of a move higher today. This thing looks like it wants to move on up. Uh, Comstock, this is our natural gas company. It is in full cheetah mode, uh, doing cheetah things. Looking really good. Sandridge is also in full cheetah mode doing cheetah things. 7.32%. Now, Ring Energy breaking to the upside. Like, I couldn't guess that one. Uh, if you've got the inventory levels and they're low, this thing's going to break. Now, this guy's got a lot of resistance right where it's at. Resistance here, here, and then here and here. Once it breaks, it's in full cheetah mode. Uh, so that's Ring Energy. We've got uh, Surge Energy. Surge is about to surge. And we're not talking about 90 Surge Energy drinks. We're talking about the surge here. Bullish engulfing, little move like that, and then eventually a move higher with oil. Uh, Tamarack Valley Energy still moving sideways, but looking good. Crescent Energy moving sideways after this break, still moving higher. I still hold all these. Vermilion's inside of its pattern. This would be a good spot to look at it if you want Vermilion Energy. Uh, Meg Energy starting to break out of its pattern. You better get it before it runs because this guy's going to break out of this big old pattern and do a moonshot run. Uh, we've got a little bit of resistance in this area here. The resistance is at $19. Uh, then the next resistance is up around $28. So you'll, you'll probably do one of these like that. But that looks fantastic, guys. Um, that is Meg Energy. OIH, another one that's starting to break out of its pattern. You better get on it if you want it. That's all I'm going to say. TTI, breaking out to the upside, looking fantastic. Rig, moving to the upside. Pump, remember, these are all on top of breakouts. They all look fantastic, moving to the upside. EXTN starting to run, stretch its legs. Valeris starting to get a little bit of buy-in pressure today. MRM, that's MMA Offshore, moving up and then sideways, still looking fantastic. Uh, Tidewater moving up, nice little move there. I like it. NEX, this thing's been an animal, beast, ape strong, bull. I don't know. This thing's too strong. Uh, KLXC looks really good here. This is, you get the falling wedge, the falling wedge, and then the break higher. Uh, hopefully you guys listened to uh, what I was saying. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, CHX moving sideways right at the resistance line. It's about to break to the upside. Uh, this guy's got a little bit of resistance there. That's about to break to the upside. You see these kind of moves like this, and then they break. I see it all the time. Nine moving sideways, still looking good. OII is still coiling up before a move higher. That looks good. Uh, Noble Energy moving sideways. HLX moving sideways, about to break this pattern to the upside. That's about to, to, to break. Uh, CGGYY is also moving. This is a double booty bottom pattern, and that's about to break to the upside, looking fantastic. Uh, Petrofac, continuing to move higher, it's making some headway. McCoy Global, in a little bit of pressure today. Looks like it's been sitting there for a little while, I don't know what happened there. Diamond Offshore, getting its big move here. No one could have guessed that one, but that's looking good. Uh, looks like, you know, BTU starting to break out of its pattern here. Uh, like I didn't know that, and we're starting to move higher there. That's looking looking fantastic. Uh, China Shinua is moving up. Yan Coal is moving up. Uh, again, if you look at this, it's not how clean the pattern is. It's just what the pattern's doing. That is a continuation pattern higher. We're about to break and move again in coal. Uh, Whitehaven Coal moving higher. Thungala moving higher. Boom. Talking about Thungala the Jungala. AMR moving higher. Alpha Met metallurgical resources. Now this is getting quite jiggy with it. I don't know if I'd be chasing. Uh, NRP is looking quite interesting here. Uh, I like it right where it's at a lot. HCC moving higher. Our coal moving higher. These are going at ludicrous speed. And you know what? I don't chase ludicrous speed. I'd probably go buy something else. Uh, in all honesty, I'd buy NRP because it's sitting at its resistance line. And this is ARLP moving higher, getting a little bit of resistance through this area in here. But uh, Overall, guys, this is this is looking so good. Looks so good.
Uh, I have my favorites and I'm loaded with my favorites and I'm riding this higher. What are my favorites? Well, join the website. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. All my favorites are on there. I Sometimes I go over them in these and I let you know what they are, what my largest holdings are. Uh, I put out my entire portfolio. You can see what's in it. And uh, yeah, it's all on the website. Finding value hi or finding hyphen value in the description link. Become a platinum member. Get to see everything. Get to see what's going on. I'll do a video here shortly uh, on that uh, of what I'm, of what I'm buying right now, and you guys can see what I'm buying at least, uh, and you can decide if that's good for you or not. But everything's looking good, guys. I think we're going to see a move higher um, over time. Thumb up for the content. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the website if you want. Uh, we'll catch you next time. This is finding value.